Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 100k run of the Lake of Shadows Nightfall. All my uh, weapons and modifications, uh, modifiers, sorry, are on the screen. Uh, I'm doing it on Night Stalker. I've decided to go with some different weapons. I've went with the Borealis because obviously I can change between damage types. I could have went with Hard Light, but I just felt that the Borealis suited my playstyle a little bit better. The I was I thought this would be quite a difficult run actually, but it was one of the easiest hundred Ks I think I've done. Uh, the the nightfall specific drop from this nightfall is the malicious birthright, which is a primary grenade launcher, and uh, and it's pretty decent actually. I was quite lucky to drop the procure, procured version, the fully master worked. So entry level to this nightfall is this first section. Now, when I say entry level, I mean, I don't really class as part of the Nightfall, although it is. This is just starting up. So, you could have two different sets of enemies. You could have either Arc Shielded Cabal, Taken Cabal, or a Solar Shielded uh, Giant kind of shank. Uh, and in, in, this, in this particular instance, we had the Arc Shielded Cabal. So, make sure you take them out. And be careful, because we're, we're running Void Singe. So, be careful for those Axiom Darts, because it's Void. Uh, I'm using Bygones my pri as my primary. Just something different for the Midnight Coop. And, and, and it's, it is a pretty decent Pulse Rifle. And it was very good for, for this. I chose to go with a Pulse Rifle, because... Felt like I could do nearly all the damage up to the boss from range. I didn't feel like I had to get close in as I normally do with a hand cannon. So, Pulse Rifle suited this perfectly. So, take down all the adds. Then we're going to take down this... Uh, we're going to take down this Blight. And then we're going to start up on the Nightfall. Once you clear this section, I would suggest changing the Borealis to Solar. Because you'll need it for captains. So just to keep you guys updated on, on my challenge. We are in the final week of the challenge. So the videos. I, I, I was going to put week 1, week 2, week 3. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to format them just yet. But because it's getting to. It's getting, it's getting to the business part now of the, the challenge. Uh. I, I didn't really want to take the time off to make the videos, to be fair. I wanted to just focus on the challenge. Uh, so, this weekend, I'm going to try and get all the videos out. So, whether that's two or three, we're going to try and get them made. Get the first one out this weekend. So, they'll definitely 100% be the first video from the challenge out this weekend. And... Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's something I haven't done before. It's uh, I don't normally do challenge videos, but this one was this one was quite an excessive challenge, but I I did thoroughly enjoy it. So make sure you check out the channel this weekend for for that video. So as you can see, I'm kind of just uh, I'm moving up it. I'm not going very quickly. That that's that's the basis of this. Although it it didn't seem to matter. Uh, we, we pick up pace as the strike goes on. But whilst the blights are here and there's ads inside the blights, they kind of... I hate the taking. They're just the most annoying. And it used to be the Vex. I used to hate the Vex because of the hobgoblins that could regenerate their health and shield themselves if you shot them. Now, and I've said this before in videos, what Bungie have done with the taking is... I want to say criminal, but it's not quite that drastic. It's just, it's it's kind of taking, uh, what it feels like they've done is they've took took the ability to learn mechanics out of it. And what they've made you do with taking is go in and kill them all very quickly. Now, that's not, that's not every taking enemy, but what they've done is when they reintroduced the taking's mechanics, of, uh, the, the defensive mechanics, now they're on steroids. If you look at a Taken wrong, there's a good chance he'll run away if he's shielded. Now, I was really lucky here because these guys, if you if you, if you you hit them, if you hit them with a the solar, you'll see here, the explosion stuns them. But, oh, make sure, 
make sure that when you're stunning or taking that there isn't a goblin anywhere in the vicinity because if there is you're gonna have to you're gonna have to kill the goblin whilst the enemy you shot to start with is shooting you just so annoying it's, it really is quite annoying uh, so we've got one more blight switch your borealis up to once you take this this captain out switch your borealis up to arc because you'll need it for arc and then after arc you pretty much can put it back on solar for the rest of the strike and i mean the strike is pretty self-explanatory you'll see where i stand the, the the there isn't any kind of here's a little tip for you it really is it's about attacking the areas from from specific places. It's about not pushing past certain areas until the ads are down. I will obviously commentate. I would much rather be streaming it. That is the goal. The goal is to start streaming. But uh, I have... I do have some uh, issues with streaming. Simply because... Uh, when the people that run my internet, uh, when they built the internet in this area, they thought it might be a good idea to connect two matchboxes with a bit of string and call that their, their internet network. It's just the worst. But uh, hopefully it's going to change this year. Hopefully I'm going to get fibre, which will more than double my speed. So then I can... Uh, then I can maybe start streaming. I would like to do that because when when you're doing videos, when you're doing videos like this, it's it's quite hard, I think, to get your personality across because you don't really have time uh, to really kind of connect because I'm 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 trying to I'm trying I'm trying to talk about what I'm doing as opposed to yo no yeah I'm fine today yeah. Oh, I was doing this. I was. Doing, you can't really connect with people when you're doing doing guides, and uh, a few people have said to me that actually know me. Uh, have said to me, you don't even sound like you in your videos, because, believe it or not, I, I like to have quite a. I like to have a laugh when I do stuff. I like to get stuff done. I like to work it out, but I like to have a laugh, and I don't think it comes across in the videos all that all that great sometimes. Because I I've, I sound very businesslike and very kind of methodical. I'm pretty methodical, but the the humour doesn't come across because you just don't don't have time. So this I believe is the last captain. So he's down. We're gonna go into the open area now. The open area, it's again, it's pretty simple. Make sure. You'll see that I'm. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to switch my weapons up when I can. Don't force the switch. Don't don't pull out a weapon and try and kill an enemy that would much be better served by killing them with a different weapon just because you're trying to drop heavy ammo. There'll be plenty of opportunities. And I'll t points points wise, this is actually quite a quite a uh, the. The amount of points that you can earn in this nightfall, what I mean, I could have earned more. I could have done more. I could have put the modifier up higher. I could have maybe gone through it a little bit quicker, but it's just not. It's not high. I mean, I don't know, and and there will be people probably on PC that will do higher score runs because of the the magical aim aiming ability and movement speed and field of vision that they, they have and obviously highly skilled players as well I'm not not trying to detract from that but they, they might be able to get you know considerably higher than this I myself could have got considerably higher than this but uh, not to the point where you know I don't think it would have been groundbreaking uh, the highest score you've ever seen in your life because it just doesn't seem to be the, the points available and I was after I'd done this run I thought how much more could I've got maybe oh, 30,000 40,000 maybe you know by by raising the modifiers and going through everything a little bit quicker 
I can't tighten skate, so and I'm not on the Titan, but I can't I can't macro because I'm on console. So I I have to I have to play the game. Unfortunately, because it's obviously it's such a big it's is a real it's a real hardship that I've got to play the game the way it was intended to be played. But I don't even know even if you know macro. And I know you can do the strike. And 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 in minutes, absolute minutes, you can tear the strike up. But points wise, it's just I didn't know where else I could have got the points. So my suggestion is, if you're solo in this, follow this tactic. It it, it does work. You know where I'm attacking the ad from. As you can see, there's two phalanx there. You you just have to be aware of that. And and if you take the route round this open section that I did. You won't have to deal with the the wanted. And the idea always is, always is, to conserve ammo, especially heavy. So, in this section here, you've got one, two, three, four solar shielded, taking knights that that fire, uh, that fire obviously, the solar. So they'll they'll they'll, they'll fire fire at you. That sounded stupid, <laughs> but you you know what I mean. The the fight the flame attack. So, this is where you switch up the borealis and you keep it on solar, and you can attack a lot of the enemies, actually from the comfort of of the bottom section. Now I didn't realize because it was it's not really I've never really used a sniper to take down the shields, but when I turned around here, I was like, oh look, I can hit, I can hit the enemies up there. And as you can see, you do run the risk from the right hand side, but I managed to take down two goblins, which increases my chance of uh, getting up there and 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 the and the 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 taking knight not not losing the ability to be shielded, which for DPS is is, is a plus. So we took down those ads. We know we've got another solar knight up top. And then it's just a heap of ads and and then on to the boss. The boss for this I remember the first time I ever done the strike and I thought there is the if if you can work out the right strategy, there's a potential for this to be really a really good strike, but there's also potential if that doesn't work, this could be really annoying. And it's actually not too bad. It's 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 a really it's a really straightforward boss. Stick and move, stick and move. Just you know, do your damage on him, and then and then move. Get yourself into a position where you can take down the knight that comes in. Use your tether intelligently, and you should never really get in, in, in any trouble here. You know. V v it was really strange because I must have just picked the right weapons for the job right off the bat because it, it I don't remember it being as easy as this. I literally was just kind of, and not even at any kind of serious pace, I was just kind of walking through this. I never, I didn't feel tested once, which is good. You know, it's nice to have one like that. Oh, there's, there's been a few. Insight Terminus, I don't think it's going to be like that. Uh, and I know it's not going to be like that, because at the time of recording this, I've actually done the Insight Terminus 100k. And it's a good run. All my runs, you guys should know this, I, I don't keep, keep redoing runs. If I die in a run, you know, I won't keep redoing it. because I don't like deaths in my runs anyway, but I won't keep redoing it if it's a good run. But the Insight Terminus run that i done, and it was, obviously there's no deaths, because, well, I just said there wasn't. But, I don't, I never ran it many times. This was like the first completion I had. This run here, is, and you'll see, this was my first completion for Lake of Shadows. I think the Insight Terminus was my second completion. Because it's been a while since it's been around. I've only been it as a nightfall. I've soloed it once. And it's the video that's on the channel. I, I I haven't really went through it too many times. No excuses. 
just is the way it is. So when you get to the boss, take down the two two taken, take down the knight, then the blight. And when when your 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 man appears, just you'll see the minute I can't get shots, I'm gonna stop firing because I do not want to waste any heavy. But I'm not bothered about and it's not a waste. I'm just not bothered about uh getting rid of the tether. The other as you've seen on, on, on the screen, the other really super helpful thing that this, this does is it gives you invisibility, which can save you. It really can. That was actually a pretty good shot. <laughs> I'm admiring my own, my own shooting now. How far, how far down that path can I go? Oh, yeah, I'm actually doing really well here. <laughs> But uh, as you can see, I tethered the ads as soon as they came out. That's what your tether's here for. It, it, it's literally ad control. And obviously, they got the bead on me. I got I got slammed. If that happens to you, as you can see, I just jump back up, dodge reload to get the invisibility, and I'm going between the two points. As long as you keep moving between the two points, you should be fine. You really should be. I think this Nightfall maybe seems a bit more difficult to solo than others because of the boss section. But like every other thing I've ever done in this game, all it is, is tactics. As long as you get your tactics right. Now as you can see, I've went invisible. And luckily his tether went away because I couldn't find it. That's another thing you really have to look out for on this Nightfall. Is he's tethering. As you can see, uh, he can grab you anyway. And luckily, that was right on me. I lost my invisibility. I lost the dodge reload. You just have to watch out for those tethers. And uh, as you can see, one, one, once you get past that, once you get into the building for the nightfall, it's it's really simple. You know, it's, it's basically solar with a break a couple of times for arc, and you're back to solar. And that's the run. 138,000 pretty good run uh, I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed the run I hope this helps you get something out of this uh, I'm looking forward to putting the video at the weekend that's really my focus I'm doing the nightfalls because I didn't have this or insight terminus as, as high score nightfalls but my focus is the challenge I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope you check out the challenge when I put the first part up at the weekend Take it easy guys, have a great time in this nightfall and I will speak to you guys in the next video.